so I've got the steering stick here don't want it to bore too much because uh, it's not gonna work so here we go where did she put the, the maize flour in a little plate so you can sort of you know, this reminds me when I was little mission at school because you, you have to have sima after school and your mother's you know she's making sima or ugari you know for you to get home that that is yes what happened so you had ugali for for lunch and you have ugali for dinner and you have porridge this is the this is the ugali porridge right when it gets to there you can actually make a porridge out of it and have it for breakfast so you can actually have it three times a day oh you gotta be careful with this the right amount for the next phase which is just to get it to a, a, a sort of a thicker consistency okay for now it's still quite loose still quite close for my liking so gives you a bit of a workout isn't it you know getting there but I think I might just add a little more there's flour just a little bit more so there we go it's a big good consistency to it yes finally 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 now you know see that's that's a good portion there that is the sima ugali sadza ready cabs good for you sometimes a chicken whole chicken roast chicken from Woolies from the shop about 11 dollars now if you go at the end of the day you can actually get for seven dollars now if you compare that with the Nando's chicken that we had last night that Nando's chicken is 20 dollars so half the price or less you can get this full chicken from the shop that goes well with the ugali that's a really decent sized chicken really decent chicken. look at it oh yeah the roast chicken that's six that's about seven dollars or ten dollars that's it real decent sized chicken so i had prepared some beans any on you know uh, when I was growing up beans used to be my favorite thing I don't know why but anyway so I got some beans that I prepared any on chicken sima ugali sadza that's it well it's like a karate movie but anyway let's go and have some food i've got a bit of salt here just a bit of salt if it might come out maybe the other side wow i'm in cloud nine for sure mm. Always, always loved beans. I don't know why. Why would it's really not because we used to have it in boarding school all the time in Africa. <clears throat> so I kind of stopped enjoying it. So when we left boarding school, I started enjoying it again. Like what happens when you're at boarding school? beans and they've got bugs in it like the insects and they don't even care just to give you beans with weevils they were like b bugs that we used to call them weevils they just love to crawl around and they just cook with the bugs and they just give you the I'm telling you this all the time
this you got that. Mm. Look at that. The roast chicken is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm in cloud nine. You can take the African. You can take the boy out of Africa. But you can't take the boy out of the Africa out of the boy. For sure. always rave about African local chicken. <laughs> it's beautiful. The free range chicken. Oh, I just can't. Yeah, I just haven't found anything like it. It just tastes different. It's the best chicken ever. Because these ones, like the, we call them the hybrids. They put all sorts of things in them. Antibiotics and stuff like that. So they just never taste like free range, free range local African chicken. Look at that. You know what? When we used to go to people's places, the parents would be like, Run through the bones. It's rude. So they're gonna behave. The beans, delicious. The chicken, the roast chicken. As close as I can come to a free range, free range African chicken. And uh, that, 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 that's nice. I did it really well, I think. So it's really, really nice. The sides are then simmer. <clears throat> Everything was just going on, right? So <clears throat> I'll see you on my next video. Subscribe, share African cuisine. Peace. I'm out.